Well, get ingenious and find us a piece of rope. Uh, it's Tuesday about two o'clock. Hi, Larry Fisher from New York. This is a 1985 Oldsmobile which was rebodied as an MG. Uh, I've had it for six years, three years rebuild, three years driving the VSCA. Very nice car. Well, you were very kind. Thank you very much. Uh, is this your first time at Watkins Glen? This is my first time at the Glen, absolutely right. Good. Well, you're going to be joined by 64 other happy MG owners. I understand that. I, you know, that you know, I just might turn around and go home at this point. No, no, no. I'd much rather be unique. <laughs> it's yellow. It is. It's a, it's a beautiful car. It is a very yellow car. Yeah, it is. Wonderful. Thanks for coming, Larry. My pleasure, Joe. Okay, I'm Ginny Gibbons. I've been racing for four races now, <laughs> just this year. Uh, I've had the MG since, the, since last October. And uh, I've been wanting something I've wanted to do for 40 years, and I've just been able to get to the point where I can do it. I'm not exactly the fastest thing on the road, but I'm making better time every every entry. What year is the car? It's a 67. Okay. Hey, your name. How are you doing? Good. My name is Jeff Powell. I'm from Melrose Park, Illinois. Got a 48 MGTC. Had this car for about five years, and uh, I'm out here to have fun. That's what we're looking for. And how long have you been racing? About five years since I got this car. Okay. Do you know the history behind your car? It spent some time in Australia. I know that in the 60s. I bought it from a guy in the Midwest. I don't know how it got to the Midwest, huh. but it has some Australian parts on it that are unique. And uh, tried to bring it back to original. Did you have a difficult time getting the MGB engine in? No, 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 no. <laughs> 1250cc TC breeze. engine. That's a beautiful steering wheel. Thank you. The whole car is beautiful. And it's licensed for road use, I might add. Yes, it is. I drive it too often. When we go up to Elkhart Lake or to Grattan or to Blackhawk Farms from Chicago, I usually drive it. This is just about the first time it's been on a trail. That's great. Thank you. You're welcome. Bob Sterling, Andover, Illinois. And it's a 1934 N-Type. I raced it for about three years. How long have you had the car? I had it for about 10 years. I rebuilt it over the last 10 years and saw it working on off and on. And you race at what tracks? Uh, Road America, three times there, and then a month or so ago at Waterford Hills, Michigan. I see you. You've done something with the T-Register. A thousand mile journey, was it? Yeah, about, uh, what are you? 92. In 92, we drove to uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming to the GOF West. And we drove it out, we drove it back, no problems. Wow. And I got a thousand mile thing, and then uh, the 
more for driving the boat. I was able to get my car off the trailer today, and I thought that was pretty good. The worst part was we don't have a top for it. It got a little wet, a little, lots of wet. We got a lot of wet. And how much of the work have you done yourself? Most all of it, yeah. Well, you've done an absolutely outstanding job. Thank you. Welcome to Watkins Glen. Thank you. How you doing, Jim? I wanted to show you this uh, cup. Aha! Uh -huh. I had it modified slightly, but it, it can be not permanent. I had a, a, a uh, this is just stuck on with a uh, windshield sealer, so uh -huh. it, it'll pull right off. So it, it wouldn't damage anything that's under here. But it simply says, the Collier Cup has been awarded since 1954 in memory of Mo Sam and Miles Collier by the vote of drivers in the race to that fellow driver of an MG powered vehicle who has, who meets the following criteria. The car must be faithful to its period and retain its basic originality. It should be well prepared, but does not have to be of show quality. The driver must exhibit good sportsmanship and safe and competent driving with consistent lap times combined with marked enthusiasm and an appreciation of vintage racing as a sport primarily for camaraderie and the enjoyment and preservation of fine cars. Whether the chosen driver finishes first or last does not matter. So that, that's kind of what, you know, we were talking about. I, I think hope. it I think it pretty much sums up the spirit of the Collier Cup, Jim. That's great. Thank you very much.